It's working? <laughs> Alright. I wonder how long that's gonna last for. So yeah, tonight we are playing Endless Space. I'm just telling people here and there. Here and there. God, I still haven't dropped a frame. This is so exciting. My internet connection has just not not been interested in working. And I'm wondering if it is not actually my internet connection, but the way that XSplit captures games. Because that's the only thing I changed. Okay, I think I have told about all of the internet that I'm going to tell. I'm getting streams so I can talk to my lovely viewers and then let's blow up some spaceships. Uh, so the deal is... Uh, it's much like Civilization, except it's in space. Uh, I'm orange. We are like the United Empire, who are human, evil, galactic traitors. And I haven't explored the entire galaxy. Yeah, I think it's a galaxy. So I don't know who's where or anything. But, well, I guess I know who's where, but I don't know what's down here, for example. I'm sure Dark Green has way more uh, space systems than just Rotenev here. Uh, I started over here, and I've played 87 turns. So, a cool little mechanic that they have in this game is you can't travel through wormholes at the beginning of the game. And these, right here, you can see this is like a solid line from system to system whereas this is sort of wavy. This is a wormhole. So playing on a spiral galaxy you get like 25 turns or something just to colonize your own little space before you're actually interacting with any of the other players. Gives you a good amount of time before uh, you have to worry about getting spaceship rushed or anything. And so I colonized my place, and then I was able to research wormhole travel, and I was like the second or third person out in this central space. So I got a couple of very good systems. Uh, Shaddai. This is, I think, a very good system. We have six planets, first off, so if you compare it to, say, my starting system, this only has three planets, much more potential for large population. And the planets themselves are very good. Uh, ocean planet is particularly good. Jungle planet particularly good. Good modifiers on them, good resources. So I have Shaddai and I have Gaikon, which is uh, a very similar sort of quality of system. And these two are sort of going to be super producers. I don't really know exactly what I'm meant to be doing with them, because this is my second playthrough of the game. Everything else is pretty mediocre, I think. Like, this system may get good eventually, but even though it has six planets, uh, they're just much lower quality planets than in the two big systems. So I could just... did some diplomacy. So, as far as my opponents, we have Horatio over here, and he is like some cloning dude. Like, all of the citizens in the Horatio Empire are exactly the same. Uh, I don't know if he's, like, evil or good or what. At the moment, he's just way behind in tech and not really causing any issues. We're at peace. I'm at war with these guys, the Sowers, who are, like, some drone sort of colony things. 
See if I can bring them up on a diplomacy. War, hatred. Uh, every different empire has all sorts of weird faction traits which make the play experience pretty unique depending on who you choose. That's pretty sweet. So I'm at war with them and I'm also at war with the Hisho who are like the super aggressive faction. And then I'm at peace with everybody else I think. We have the Sofans who are super into research. The Cravers, okay, I'm not at peace with them. They are one of the evil factions, and they actually have a trait that makes it so they can never be at peace with anybody, <laughs> which seems like it would make them hard to play. I don't know, I haven't tried them yet. Pilgrims, we're at peace with, and yeah, I think that's everybody. So what's going on? Technologically, there are four technology trees. And so this is the military one, we're advancing along in that. This is like trade. Uh, we have colonization, terraformation sort of stuff is in here. It lets you colonize new planet types, let you change planet types into different things, some cool improvements for planet types. And over here, the like northern branch of this is all science buildings, and the southern branch is all production buildings. So this is very infrastructure heavy. I'd say I'm about equally advanced in all of them. A lot of my technology is coming from trade, so that makes sense. Because I don't really get to choose what technologies the other people research. Uh, at the moment, I'm just holding this system with a big fleet. I just conquered Indusa with this big fleet, and I don't have much else in the way of military. I think I'm ready to press and turn and just sort of see what happens. Uh, cool thing about this game is they really made it with multiplayer in mind. All the turns are taken simultaneously, and that's true in single player as well. So you can see that the AI is moving about right now. Uh, I detached a warrior, that's my name for this spaceship class, off from this main fleet to go deal with this little sower. It's a tiny fleet, which they just sent to harass. Um, for some reason, I can't attack them. Are we not at war? I don't understand why I wouldn't be able to attack them. We're definitely at war. Oh, I just didn't have my fleet selected or something. I think usually I would just auto this battle. Actually, I'll just auto this battle. Because I just have a massive advantage. And then over here, it looks like against the Hisso. Oh, I have a massive advantage there too. Are there any close battles? This one should be an exciting battle. This is my biggest fleet, and I have a hero with it who's going to give it more attack, defense, etc. He has a couple of special abilities, too, that I've given him. And I'm up against a solar fleet, which has a hero as well. Looks like they have missile, kinetic, beam. So they have all three different types of weapons, and... Their only defense is against kinetic weapons. So there are three types of weapons, three types of defense. Each one counters a certain type of weapon. Uh, I happen to have a little bit of everything on my ships. I guess against everything I would take sabotage. Each round of combat, a different type of weapon is best. Long range missiles are going to be best. And each round of combat, you get to select a uh, tactic. So I just tried to make all of their weapons less effective. You can see there's a lot of shooting going on. And now my missiles are landing and there's a lot of blowing up. I just took out their entire fleet with that missile salvo. The sound effects get sort of loud. All right. Oh, I forgot. I should have uh, set the fleet to auto repair for the the last phase. 
So we win that battle, and a few things happen. My hero gets a bunch of experience. He's got enough to level up. So you can see I already have a ton of abilities here. I have, like, enemy ships are getting less accuracy. I have plus movement for my ships that he's accompanying. I have all sorts of stuff that's adding to his attributes. And, like, he has a, a rating of 20 offense, which is giving me 80% damage on my weapons. I just have to pick a new one, and I think I'm just going to grab Defense System Specialist, because that seems to be the biggest attribute boost out of what I can pick. I believe Heroes max out at level 20, so I'm not going to get to get all of the little perks before this guy is maxed out. I'm going to go clear this fleet out. Oh, he cannot actually attack twice in one turn, so we'll have to do that next turn. And I'm going to send this back here. Merge those fleets. And now I can't attack them. Whoops. Looks like the amoeba... The amoeba are behind me in technology, but we're at peace. So they would like this technology and they want to give me a ton of resources for it. Uh, I'm okay with that. Resources in this game are pretty cool. If we look at uh, this system, this looks like Eden Incense. So it has a system bonus, a planet bonus, and a uh, empire bonus. So in this case it's giving me two research per person on the planet, it's giving me 20 approval on the planet just for the system. And then it's also giving me plus 4% invasion strength on my ships throughout the empire. Uh, production is sort of grindy, especially with this many colonies, and I'm not really sure how I'm meant to be developing them. So I'm just building infrastructure in most places right now. And that's what I'm going to keep doing here, I think. Although, who knows what. I think I'm going to investigate a moon. I have no idea how good investigating moons is, but I have technology which lets me do it. I've yet to actually get a single thing out of it, but I'm sure at some point I will. Uh, you collect dust, which is just gold, pretty much. Heroes can use it in combat to use special abilities, but that's the only way that it's like sort of unique from gold. I think we're good to go. Uh, this is a 450 turn game, <laughs> so yeah, it'll take me a while. I tend not to actually finish games like this. I'm just going to be autoing most of the battles for time considerations. Now, I have a couple of ships that are very badly damaged. I'm going to throw them in the hangar here to heal up for a while. That's going to make this fleet a little bit weaker, but that shouldn't be a big deal. The sowers are not really sending anything terrifying my way. The battles can be a real drag, especially if you look here, the AI has um, nine tiny fleets. So if I go to the system, I'm going to have to go through nine battles, which is going to take me nine turns. Just grind them down one at a time before I can start invading the system. So are invading Yukima. Okay, I'm probably going to lose that. I don't know exactly how invasion works, but this system has changed hands a couple of times. And if you look at the ring around it, you can see a tiny bit of orange there, and mostly pink. That's because they have an invading fleet. It's actually my system. So usually you would start with a full ring of orange, and then as they invaded, it would slowly turn to pink. But because it's been invaded several times, it has very, very little, um, what do they call it, defense from invasion. 
and so it's going to succumb pretty quickly to anybody who invades it. Looks like I have a new spaceship over at Gaikon. This is one of the huge systems that I have. I think I'm going to colonize a new planet in here. Let's do this one. Uh, this is just going to make it so I can take people off my usual planets and put them over there, as you would expect from colonizing a planet. And where even is that? I don't even know. OK, we're over here. So this is a recently conquered system, which means that it's still set minus 60 approval from ownership. So that will gradually, gradually improve. It's unhappy right now, but it won't be forever. I'm just going to keep on building infrastructure. I could definitely set governors on systems. That would save me a lot of time. Um, I'm streaming right now, so probably shouldn't. Unless you guys want to hear me watching friends over my roommate's shoulder. Is friends on? Yeah. You can if you want. I don't mind. It's okay. Okay. Friends is a sweet show. Uh, right now I'm researching one of the like fairly deep technologies all the way down here. I don't know why I'm researching it. <laughs> it lets me improve some planets. But it doesn't seem like it does terribly much. Anyway, it's what I'm doing. I may be able to improve now. So it will let me improve. This planet has uh, high gravity, which is giving me quite a lot of negative approval. And minus one production per person on the planet. Um, It'll let me improve that. I'm not sure exactly what we'll replace it with. It doesn't always like take it away completely. But yeah, I should be able to do something. I don't understand what the AI is doing. Maybe there's some reason that I don't know that it's good to send a tiny spaceship against giant fleets every single turn. Sometimes I press escape one, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just going to throw this in here. And once this fleet's healed up, I'll go clear out. This is a like moderate sower fleet over here. Can't just clean it out with one ship. Anything happening? I feel like I have a ton of dust, so I'm going to buy something. Doesn't do terribly much if it's just sitting in the bank account. That was interesting. So it looks like the system just uh, flipped to me entirely. I guess I've controlled it a decent amount of the time. So you can see that my borders are now encircling it. That gives me vision throughout here. Actually, it looks like I already have vision. Uh, it does a few other things, like the, uh, who are these guys, Horatio, the Horatios, is that what they, they are called, I don't know. They have uh, borders over the system. Now they can't actually get to that system in any way, they have to go all the way around here and through here. But I can't colonize it because it's within their borders. So I didn't realize that, that was going to be the case. It's a fairly poor system. So I didn't colonize it earlier on in the game, and now I can't. What's going on? They're invading Gaikon. Well, we're not okay with that. OK, 
God, tiny fleets everywhere. So, this is... Wow, that's a lot of kinetic weapons on that guy. This is a little risky. I'm sending a ship with uh, very low hit points into battle. But for some reason, you can use engineering, which gives plus 20% hit points. And it's like a faster way to repair your ships than actually just not taking them into battle and leaving them in star systems. So I'm just going to use engineering three times. He countered it the first time, it looks like. Depending on what um, card they choose, they may counter your decision. But I'm going to take his ship out fairly quickly. He did some damage, but not enough to wreck any of my ships. And then I'm going to get double engineering at the end of the battle. You can see my fleet health just jumped up. Now that ship, which was definitely in the red, is in like a moderate yellow. I'm going to blockade that system so they can't get away. Kill some guys here. Um, a problem with the... I don't know if it's a bug or what. It doesn't seem like that's how engineering should work, but a problem with it is that like, I could have done a manual battle there and triple engineering and got on this wire healed. I just don't want to spend like 30 seconds or however long the manual battles take. I haven't worked out a way to speed them up. This is a very new game, so maybe they'll address that at some point. Looks like I got another level. Um, I've gotten like a thing to tell me I have four units of Eden Essence about a thousand times. It's because the system I have Eden Essence on keeps getting blockaded, and then I keep on killing whatever is blockading it. Alright, this is going to be a pretty tight battle. Uh, I'm only like a 5 to 3 power ratio, and I don't have a hero with the fleet where they do. So I could definitely lose some ships here. And they are only using missile weapons. Um, so against missiles, I have sabotage, or I have weapon disruption, or short circuit, or I have camouflage. Uh, all three of those give me defense against missiles. Apparently, I decided to use none of them. <laughs> It's like set up for multiplayer, so it's all real time. So hopefully these missiles don't take out too many ships, but I suspect that I may lose one or two here. No. Alright, so I actually just like completely completely destroyed that fleet with no casualties. Seems reasonable. Um, if you look at my ships, everything here has flak. 24 flak, 36 flak. Do I have a destroyer? No. Um, and the flak are, I believe, shooting at a missile every single round, trying to shoot it out of the sky. Uh, missiles take three rounds to hit, so with nine ships with flak on them, that's like a lot of flak that missiles have to get through to actually do any damage. Uh, let's do it from in here. I want to look at the system a little closer. So you get planetary exploitation options. 
each planet can be exploited in a different way, and these are like mini improvements, whereas most of your improvements affect the entire system. Like if I build colonial rights, that's the entire system getting affected. Ooh, I should build that. I'm gonna build that. Uh, planetary exploitation is just gonna affect this planet, so I can use a temporal finance to get plus two dust per person on the planet, and also plus two dust per person on arid, which uh, this is an arid planet, so I'm going to. It won't affect people on this planet. It's just an exploitation for here. And what's going on here? I don't know. Just clicking buttons. The, the game plan here is to get a third fleet, because I think with two fleets all I can really do is hold my ground against the trillions of spaceships that are getting thrown at me. But if I can get a third fleet up, I should be able to hold my ground with one fleet and advance with another against one of these people. And yeah, I'm well on my way. Got four ships in here now. I'm getting massive frame lag for some reason. I don't know what that was all about. Missiles. I'm going to assume that none of them are going to hit me. Hmm, I actually took 290 hit point damage there. I wish it would just like do it instantly. I don't really need the big bar <laughs> playing single player. It's definitely set up with multiplayer in mind there. Which is, you know, it's good if you want to play multiplayer. Um, oh, so I managed to build both of those improvements in one turn. I don't think you can ever do that in Civilization. I feel like you can only build one thing a turn. And I'm, no, I'm going to start building... Okay, so this system is blockaded, which means I don't have access to the strategic resources needed to build the spaceships I'm building. I'm just going to build infrastructure until I unblockade it. Uh, where is this hero in Gaikon? So I have some heroes. I have one hero with fleets. I have two heroes who are just in a space system. And rather than adding to the fleet attack and stuff, they're doing stuff like plus 70 happiness, uh, plus a ton of production, plus a ton of food. Uh, problem is I'm running out of abilities to give them. Seems like there are fewer abilities for for people in a space system. I have a new hero ready to be recruited. Now I'm actually at the maximum heroes that I can have at a time. I can only have three right now until I develop new technologies. So he's just going to sort of sit around waiting for me to get deeper in the research trees. Ah, uh, the system's doing okay. I don't... I just have all of these systems which are, like, mediocre. <laughs> I don't know what I'm meant to do with them. Maybe I should just build spaceships. I feel like just using them to get dust and research as much as possible while building infrastructure is reasonable. Didn't fight with this one yet.
a good thing, like a good situation that I'm in here is, if you look at the map, like this little branch is all mine, and everybody else has a branch which is pretty much the same size. So the asymmetric part is in the center here. And if you look at the center, I have one, two, three, four, five systems. So I have a definite edge in number of systems and it's leading to me having the highest score and I think I it will actually tell me I'm only third in uh, resource production but I'm doing okay overall I would say it means that I don't really need to worry about doing anything drastic because I just have a chokehold on the game right now I'm definitely winning Uh, people are not happy because I'm winning. These guys want a ceasefire and they're going to give me a system. That might actually be worth taking because I can go kill the sowers if I'm not at war with them. Uh, I'm going to say no though. Oh, the sowers also want a ceasefire. Okay, I'm going to say no to them too. I wonder if I just like hit a particular power level where everybody's terrified of me now. I don't know what happened there. I feel like I forgot to launch a couple of battles that turn. There's no like there's no cycle through your units as far as I can tell like there is in all the civilization games you have to actually go find them yourself and make sure you give them orders Wow that thing has 536 kinetic damage on it uh, I'm actually gonna supervise this one because I want to see what that looks like and also make sure that my ships don't all die now each spaceship can only attack one ship at a time. So it's pretty unlikely that it's gonna like take out more than one, but yeah. Kinetic I believe only has twenty percent accuracy at long range too. And the ship is gonna be super dead by the end of the long range phase. Looks like it's gonna get off two salvos. Yeah, it's not gonna kill anything. Still though, that was, that was a lot of little red dots. Definitely a lot of little red dots. Alright. Hisso's invading more places. Look at all this. They're everywhere. They're out of control. Uh, fortunately, I have another fleet now. I'm actually going to supervise this battle too because I want to use engineering. <sighs> Should check out what their ship is. This is actually a mixed ship. I've noticed that the AI tends to go one type of weapon, one type of defense on ships, which doesn't make much sense to me. Most of my ships are all three weapons, all three types of defense. Uh, I don't know... Okay, one thing you do get out of going full on one weapon is the ability to overload somebody's defenses. So even though I have defenses for their weapon, they have so much of it that they can still hit me. Uh, against a fleet of like seven ships though, they're not going to get through all the defenses. I don't understand why you would have just one form of defense. Like, unless you know that the other guy only has... Oh, shit, I just lost, uh... Lost a ship to all those missiles. That sucks. It's probably one of the crappy ones. Yeah, I lost one of the old warriors. You can see these are from a fairly long time ago. My ships now are looking a lot better. This is actually the first ship design that I put together. 
Somehow that's stuck around. I wonder what level that ship is. Ships will level up. This is level 4. I think the max is 10, so that's not so impressive. But that guy's been around a while. I'm still building infrastructure in Gaikon because I'm still blockaded. Let's explore a moon. Doing it. And this turn I'm going to remember to launch these little quick battles. Ooh, they, this is like the first time in forever that they haven't sent a tiny ship to get killed by me. <laughs> what do I do? I guess I'll go over here. And, ooh, they have some fleets here I can kill. Oh, oh, they did send a tiny ship. I just already killed it and then forgot. I have a ton of dust, so I'm going to buy some stuff. Can't afford that. This is a decent sized fleet. Again, I'm gonna go manual for this one so that I can use repair, because I have a warrior, which is on fairly middling yellow health. That just like didn't select. Okay, there we go. How you guys doing? Hi Brad Boom. I don't know how long ago you typed that. I wish that the chat room had timestamps. I guess I could launch it from MIRC and then I could set it up to do that. Ooh, this time I forgot to free camera, so you get to have the camera like randomly shift around the angles and get motion sickness. I think they did like a decent job. This is by an indie game studio. So it's not like a huge budget game or anything. I think they did a pretty good job of making it pleasing on the eye. This is Endless Space, and it's developed by... don't remember their name. Uh, looks like it's a bunch of XEA and Ubisoft guys. Yeah, I don't know what the name of the studio they set up is, but I guess that's where they're from. So, that engineering got my ships back to full health. Uh, should I go here? They have like... <laughs> I can kill one fleet a turn for the next eight turns, and then they'll be out. Actually, I sort of like that, because I'll be able to blockade the system, and then they'll stop sending ships everywhere. Ooh. I didn't know that they could do that. It looks like they, like, real quick combined a bunch of ships in response to seeing me move. So I guess, like, if you're playing online, there's gonna be some Twitch elements to the game. Like, if you see somebody moving their ships towards your system, you can really quickly do something like that. That's an interesting element. I actually didn't like read what sort of weapons these ships have or anything, which means that like I decided to supervise the battle because I thought I could do better than the AI, but I'm fighting completely blind. Let's see what happens. So far I've managed to counter their card for the first phase. The battle system reminds me of this Batman game that I played when I was like 10. And you could be like Batmobile and that would counter something, or you could be the Batplane. It would counter a different thing. In case you are wondering, guess, guess what the uh, Bat utility belt did? Countered a different thing. It's like glorified paper, scissors, rock, I guess. Uh, it actually, um, 
it's pretty rich game theoretically, the system that you end up with if you have like eight strategic cards, each of them doing different things, and countering particular cards. I could sit down and spend like five hours and solve one of these battles for the optimal strategy, but I don't want to. <laughs> We finally researched soil revivification. I'm gonna stop trying to say that on stream. Uh, I'm gonna get tectonic engineering. This gives me plus 15% tonnage on ships. It means I can throw a few more weapon systems or defensive systems on my ships. I <laughs> That's no moon actually is, and then it's just worthless. So since I have a new technology, I'm going to check in with my allies, see if they have any stuff worth trading for. Don't want that, don't want that. Abundant Luxury Space Elevator. I don't actually know what those things are, but let's see if they'll give me it. Because it's definitely, like, it costs 6,000 research points. Uh, we're giving them really good weapons. See if they can sweeten the deal. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting a little luxury resource, which is going to give me another plus 2%. Actually, I might get a monopoly of this, in which case I'm getting plus 20% dust per turn. Did that just happen? Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty sweet luxury resource to grab. Let's see what technology I actually just traded for. Alien barter theory. Alright. I'm not sure that I actually want either of those improvements terribly much. But hey, it's a technology. Horatio hasn't had anything to trade for for forever. Neither have the amoeba. The amoeba are sort of cute. They're like interstellar cooperation and everything. Okay, and the Sophons are the technology empire, so they have been keeping up with me pretty well all game. Fortunately, I'm able to like play the AI off on each other, so they generally won't accept a deal unless it's in their favor. But I'm able to trade for technology with one guy and then trade the technology I've traded for to another, and they don't seem to do that so much. So, we just got some pretty sweet ship weapons, I believe. Mobile Goss platforms. We got better kinetic weapons and we got better uh, missile interception stuff. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, so I can improve... I should be able to improve this high gravity now. Uh, looks like I'm just completely removing it, so that's pretty sweet. That'll take three turns, but it seems definitely worth it. What else is going on? Okay, so now that I have better stuff for spaceships, I'm gonna 